Back to microbeerreviews.com. We've got a Founders Brewing uh, Founders Brewing beer for you called uh, Old Curmudgeon, which is a great name. It's um, comes in a four pack. It's not cheap. I want to say I paid fifteen dollars for the four pack, maybe fourteen dollars for the four pack. Um, it's got this old crotchy looking guy in there, the old curmudgeon um, on the front. It says Old Ale Brewed with Molasses and Oak Aged. 50 IBUs, ABVs are 9.8, available only March and April. Uh, this is 2013. They call it a, uh, it says, think of this classic seafaring uh, port local pub or, or old weathering old fisherman. This ale is brewed with molasses and an insane focus on malt. Then oak aids, the result is a strong, rich, malty delight that's decept deceptively smooth and drinkable. Um, Founders Brewing does a lot of really good beers. Their all-day IPA is phenomenal. Um, they've got a couple uh, um, beers that come in four packs that a lot of people overlook and they, because it's a little bit more expensive, but they're, they're always worth it. I've never had this one before. Um, highly recommended simply because of such a unique flavor is what I was told. Um, looks much like what I would think of a, of a multi-type beer. Slight, slightly reddish tint, nice, uh, fairly uh, frothy head, a little bit of carbonation, slightly cloudy. I wouldn't call it filtered. Now I wouldn't call it unfiltered. Kind of on the in between side. You can definitely taste or uh, smell the uh, the molasses. It's got a nice sweet malty smell to it. Wow, you can definitely tell it's aged in oak. But um, I think the molasses kind of cuts it down a little bit. That is very unique. That is very different. Um, all right. Um, definitely can taste the molasses. Very sweet, in my opinion. Um, it's got a nice oak background. It's not too overpowering. It's not something that some of them you, you feel like you're sucking on smoked wood. That's definitely not the case. You can you can actually t taste the hops in there. It's um, it's very different than what I expected. Um, I don't know what I expected, but it's a little bit more carbonated, which I kind of like. And it's very smooth. There's no bite to it. There's no aftertaste to it. It just kind of swallows real uh, easy. It's good. Um, so I think the picture is exactly what you would expect. A kind of a cold, wet, rainy day. A bunch of old guys at the fishing port, the golf course, um, kind of waiting for the uh, the fish or the golfers to roll in, sipping on a beer. Um, it's ten percent, so you're not going to have a bunch of these things. It's really good. It's um, it's worth the money. I would probably. It doesn't say anywhere that I can find to let this sit, but I've only had this for like two and a half, three, four, two and a half, three weeks. At 9.8%, I bet over a year's time, this would be really, really good. It probably would be a little less sweet, a little bit more oaky would be my guess. Um, it's it's good, though. Um, would I buy it again? I'd buy it again. I'd probably give it about a 3, maybe a 3.5 and, and a range scale would be five, only because I can tell this is one of those things where I would gravitate towards some of even their other beers or some of the other beers in this class at this price point um, that are a little bit more flavorful and kind of more to my palate. A lot of people would really like this. Here again, cold, wet, rainy days, um, strong flavor. It's got a little bit of sweetness to wake you up. It's got a nice background to it with that, that oaky flavor that kind of makes you feel like the campfire is about to happen. Um, it's good beer. It's worth the money. Uh, this thing is definitely worth three and a half dollars a bottle. Um, I'd buy it again. I would definitely buy it again. I don't know what I expected, just something a little different. Um, but it's, it's not bad at all. Please don't discredit that comment. So check it out. The Old Curmudgeon, the um, Old Ale Brewed with Molasses and Oak Age. Please let us know what you think from Founders. Uh, leave uh, comments on our YouTube channel and our website, microbeerviews.com. Don't forget, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook.